Today, we are gonna be taking a look at stabilizing using the brand new object trackers within Motion. The first thing is first, go ahead and open up Motion. If you don't have the project browser, you can push Option, Command, N, and that will give you the project browser. From there, we're going to go ahead and push Import as project and locate the footage that we want to use. Now that we have the footage in motion, go ahead, select your footage, go up to behaviors, go down to motion tracking. And normally you would expect that you're going to want to push the stabilize feature, but what we actually want is analyze motion. The reason for this is motion does not give us access to the brand new trackers within the stabilize feature. By the way, Apple, you should 100% add that. So this is going to be a quick workaround. It works equally as well, if not better. So go ahead, go up to analyze motion, Select that and you will see the brand new tracker here. What we will do is select the tracker and bring it up to our man's face here. Then we can go over to the inspector and push analyze. Motion is going to automatically do all of its tracking very quickly. This is 100% in real time. I'm so glad they made this new tracker so fast. Now because the shot is so long, I'm actually going to stop it and I'll just trim it right here with O and then we can shorten the length just to keep this tutorial on the shorter side. We now have our tracked shot. So how do we apply this analyze motion to our scene? If we select our running clip, we're gonna actually need to duplicate it. That's because we can't apply the motion to the same shot that has been tracked. After that, go up to your, the duplicated analyze motion and delete that. Now from here, we can go up to behaviors, motion tracking, match move. From there, we can actually click and drag the analyze motion into this little well here. And so now our duplicated clip is going to have all the motion of the underlying clip. So if I play through, you'll see that that clip is moving like crazy, which is the exact opposite of stabilization. So let's go ahead and fix this. Select your running copy, go over to your properties and find the position tab. From there, find this down arrow add a parameter behavior and select negate. Negate is going to do the exact opposite of whatever the motion is on this scene, thus stabilizing our shot. So if I play through now, you can see that this shot is actually stabilized very well. And I'm actually gonna disable the underlying shot. And just like that, we have actually stabilized the shot using the brand new trackers, even though that is not a feature that Apple has added. If you wanted to get rid of these black edges, you could go over to properties and you could drag up the scale and you could even adjust the position a bit just to get it locked into the center there. If you want to learn way more about all of Motion's parameter behaviors, I made an in-depth tutorial that you can check out here. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.